what are we about to do? Call the winner. We should should we prank him somehow? Like crack a joke and be like, oh my gosh, hey man, I, like this is a really bad joke, but it's really not happening. <laughs> and like see what no, he says. That's we should so, totally no, do it. We're gonna do no, it. That's what we're not. gonna do. Let's go. Okay. We should totally do this. We, we gotta sit in the limited when we make these calls because these are big boy calls. I'm gonna plug play. real quick. Rosie 24B. Rosie 24B. <laughs> Always plug. We saw him like pranking him. That's I just mean. feel like this mean. It is mean. He's gonna hang up on me. No, he's not. Okay, you ready? Good. Michael? You're gonna call. His name is Michael. Okay. Ready? Just don't show us my number. Hello, is this Michael? Hi, this is Reagan with Loud and Proud calling you to congratulate you on winning Mordecai the 12 vow. Thank you. So tell us a little bit about yourself and like what you do for a living, man. My name is Michael. I work at Kentucky Coopers, or better known as a Dave company. I like riding four wheelers. Awesome. Awesome. Now, do you currently have a diesel? No. You don't? Okay, well, that's awesome. So will this be your first diesel you've ever owned? Yes, ma'am. Have you ever drove a diesel truck? Yeah, I have drove my dad's uh, 2008. Sierra. This is Malachi. <laughs> Just chiming How's in. Going? Yeah, going good, going good. Yeah, that was her first phone call. Doing good, doing good. So, uh, when did you originally get the phone call from the agency? Uh, I got it Friday. Friday, okay. Because he didn't tell me when he called you. All he said was, "We got a guy, and you can give him a call today." And that was just this morning. I gotta ask you though, like your your initial reaction when he called you. Were you about to call BS, or uh, did you know it was legit right away? I knew that it was legit. Cause I did a big stinky, but I wasn't 19 at the time. I was just going to ask, are you the guy that was supposed to win the first giveaway? Yep, man, I'm the guy. Oh my goodness. Okay, do you mind if I tell this story? Because I felt so bad about it at the time, and I didn't know what no. to say. Do you mind if I tell it on camera? I'm, you're on camera real quick. <laughs> no, man, go ahead. Okay, so guys, this is actually super, super crazy in... This just goes to show how really possible it is to win one of our trucks. Cause we've got people that think there's like, you know, tens of thousands of people that enter this thing, but this guy actually has gotten drawn twice now. How crazy is that? How, how does that make your odds feel? Really good. So, okay. So on our first giveaway, I had about 36 to 40,000 subscribers. We were giving away a black 12 valve we called Big Stinky and a dually. And this kid actually won, but he was like, were you 16 at the time, just about to turn 17? I think I was 17 at the time. Or you would, yeah, or you had just turned 17 or something. So it was like one of those things where like he technically couldn't win, but I had to get, I'm the one that gave him the phone call because of how it was worked out in the beginning. He's like, oh, you can call him and all this stuff. And unfortunately it was just a really, really crappy situation because I called him, got all excited. And then he's like... Yeah, I'm, I'm not 18. And so that whole thing, yeah, it was just, it was an unfortunate kind of crappy situation. I felt really bad and I was like asking if there's anything I could do and he was so cool about it. He's like, no dude, it's all good. I enjoy watching the videos and I enjoy the merch as it is, you know, like it's all good. I gotta ask you though, looking back now, cause this is actually insane that he got drawn. Six giveaways later, he gets drawn again. And this is actually almost the exact week last year you got drawn the first time and weren't old enough to win. How do you feel now looking back one year later and getting drawn for a second time? That's actually pretty crazy. What, like, what are the odds of that? What's going through your head? I don't know. I'm kind of shocked right now, to be honest with you. <laughs> that's like, that definitely hasn't ever happened yet. And that's actually pretty insane. So just to be clear though, this is not the guy that ended up getting that first truck, but um, he is definitely ending up with not only another 12 valve, because when I checked your order history, that's when you place your your la one of your last orders was actually last year until this giveaway came back around. If, if I'm right, is that correct? Yeah, I think I entered the uh, great dually, but and then uh, last year is. Yeah, that was the last one because that was in August. It said you order last six, until this, you know, just past giveaway. This guy got drawn again exactly one year later on on the exact week. He got drawn last year, but wasn't old enough to win. And not only does he get a nice 12 valve, I hate to say it 12 valve Johnny when you see this video, but this truck is even cleaner and in even better shape and even like a better built truck, like by far, like it's just incredible. Um, the work that the guy did on this truck. First off, congratulations for me. I know my wife said it, but congratulations. And like, talk about well-deserving. Like, what are the odds of that even happening? Like when I, when I text you this morning, I saw a previous message from last year in July and uh, you were talking about entering this next giveaway that was coming around and i'm like is this the guy that got drawn last year that couldn't claim the truck i'm like if so this is actually going to be like absolutely crazy we just got off the phone with michael from kentucky and guys this guy i felt so 
bad for last year. It was actually pretty sad because this was my first giveaway ever and my attorney let me make the call, which, which really looking back, it's not a good idea because I called thinking like this is a for sure, he won, he gets the truck, everything else. So this is the one and only time it ever happened. It was on the first one. A lot of mistakes were made and a lot of things were learned. And I called the guy, I'm like, hey man, congratulations, you won a truck. And he's like, oh dude, no way, like my birthday's coming up and this and that. And I'm like, well, how old are you? He's like, I thought at the time, I thought at the time he said he was 16, about to turn 17. And I'm like, man, um, uh, okay, maybe he was like 16 or maybe he was 17, I don't know. And he was like almost gonna turn 18, but he wasn't 18. You gotta be 18 or older to technically claim the truck. That's why I say whoever's entering the giveaway has to be 18 or older. Whoever is entering the giveaway must be 18 or older because the name on the order is the name that's gonna be registered and if you call and that's not the person who picks up the phone to claim the vehicle, you can't technically take it unless you're 18 or older. I get on the phone with him and I'm like, you know, I'm like, oh, like, man, I'm like, oh my goodness. I'm just instantly like, just like torn up because I don't know what to say and I don't know how to end the call and I'm like, well, man, I said, we'll try to figure it out, but I really hope we can still work it out. But I said, if you're not 18, I'm like, I feel really bad, but I was just given the number and I said you won and I was told that you won and so I'm like, I just made the call but I'm like, legally, I don't think you can technically claim the truck. And so he was trying to talk to his dad and talk to the attorney and this and that and they're like, hey, if you're not 18, you can't, you can't take the truck. And I'm like, oh my goodness. I look bad and I feel horrible because of that situation but it's never happened again and everything has been dealt with much differently from that point on to where they, they call, they verify who you are in your age first before they say, anything about you know you winning a truck or this or that because you don't want to get people's like super like hopes up super high and then tell them oh yeah you can't you don't actually get it after saying you get it how would you have reacted if that was you who got the call and then you couldn't even claim it honestly i probably would have never entered another year giveaways because i would probably have been so torn and it's kind of like him being humble about it yeah and knowing that like Cause I don't know, it's just a bigger message that sometimes when you don't get what like you want, being consistent and staying positive will get you the reward at the end. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so then what he did, instead of just being ticked off and being like, oh man, that sucks. That's horrible. The next month, I think it was after his birthday. So maybe he must have been 17 and then just turned 18 like a week or two after the, that giveaway call. And then he enters the next giveaway in August after he turned 18. He just must love 12 outs because he entered the other, the ultimate 12 out giveaway, which was a first gen and two second gens. He entered that one, didn't win, which of course you're not gonna get drawn for every giveaway. Five giveaways after that, he gets drawn again to win this truck. And he wanted a second gen so bad. He wanted a second gen, 12 valve so bad. He was consistent. If it was a 12 valve up for grabs, he entered. And he gets drawn the exact week, one year later for a second time. And that's when I tell people, I'm like, guys, there are not as many people in these giveaways than you think. I'm like, there's not, you know, five, 10, 15,000 people. And it, it's, it's not like that. That's not realistic. And for people that think, oh, probably 50% of his followers under, that's not reality. Like, I'm sorry, but it is like a very, 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 very small percentage of people. And I tell this and I mean it. It's not just like some BS thing. It's a small percentage of my supporters that enter these giveaways to make this kind of thing happen for people. And this guy entered again on probably the same date and gets called again on just about the exact same date, 10th to the 15th week last year in July when he got called last year. After I hung up the phone, I said, hey man, like in all honesty, camera's off. I said, how'd you really feel? He's like, dude, he's like, I was pretty messed up. He's like, I didn't want to go to work. I didn't want to go to do this or that. He's like, for a couple days. And I was just like torn up about it. And I'm like, well, man, let me just tell you, you got a stud of a second gen 12 up now. And this time it's going with you. Like it's going home. And he's like, dude, that's just awesome. Like he's just super excited. He said he told his friends about how he got drawn last year and then he couldn't claim the truck. Now this year he gets drawn again. Like what are the odds of that? I told him, I said in a giveaway like ours, when like when I'm being honest, I'm saying there's not as many people as you think to enter these things. The odds are better than you think. It hasn't happened another time yet, but the fact that it's already happened, only eight giveaways in, that's pretty crazy. He's super excited. He's going to come claim his truck. He said it might be like a week or two before he can come get it because he's He's got a busy work schedule. Sounds like a super busy, hardworking guy. But anyways, he's gonna come get his truck in just two days. This truck is gonna be in a giveaway up for grabs. And I know I wasn't gonna say this until the 26th, but you guys, this beautiful 2007 5.9 Covens is gonna be up for grabs. Crew cab, short bed, beautiful clean truck. And this truck has a ton of stuff coming and it's gonna get a lot of stuff done to it. But this truck is a stud truck and this one could be yours. You could be as lucky as this guy who just got drawn to win his truck 
you could be next. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and hopefully you guys got something out of that little background on this guy. And it literally is actually completely crazy. Like I honestly never would have thought something like that would have happened even though there's not as many people that enter these things as you think, but it's still like the odds of you getting drawn again is kind of just like, it's just kind of crazy. And he was so humble and so cool about it, even though he didn't win, he wasn't like ranting on social media about how horrible we are and this and that and all this stuff because it's, it wasn't our fault, you know what I mean? Like it was unfortunate that he got excited and then found out he couldn't win, but like he could have been, you know, a big, you know, bully about it and went all over social media and called us all kinds of names and did all kinds of stuff to try to be mad about it, but he didn't. He was instead, he's like, you know what? It sucks, but I'm just gonna enter the next one now that I'm 18, and he did. He just entered the next one, and then a couple months later, he entered the one for this one, and now we won a truck, you know what I mean? That's just a great attitude to have, and I'm just honestly blown away. Super excited for him. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that thumbs up. Leave your comments down below on what you think. How crazy is that? I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.